Well, a group of concerned clergy members are calling for IMPD Police Chief Randall Taylor to step down. CBS4's Levi Harvey talked to activists about why they're calling for new leadership. Community leaders I talked to say that their main concern is poor policing and the rise in violent crime across the city. They say in order for change, it starts with the top IMPD officer. Whether that's ladies that were beaten with batons downtown all the way to the latest shooting that happened on last week where uh, an African-American male was shot in the back while running away from the police officer. Some indie religious leaders are calling for IMPD Chief Randall Taylor to resign. Reverend David Green with the Concerned Clergy of Indianapolis says another family is grieving the loss of their loved one. Last week, Gary Dwayne Harrell was shot while running away from police. Clearly there's a pattern. The repeated explanation, explanation for these egregious acts is the same. The officers fail to follow their IMPD training and policies. He wants IMPD to release the body worn camera footage of the shooting. So you should go ahead and release it to the community uh, so that they can see here's what happened and judge for themselves. Since Taylor took office in 2020, according to IMPD, they've seen more than 800 homicides. IMPD responded to the clergy's call in a statement saying Chief Taylor has remained committed to maintaining positive police community relationships by reducing violent crime, investigating and solving major crimes, and maintaining high levels of training for officers. Reverend Green says it's not enough. There has to be a new chief in place that can begin to work with the community. Uh, where you build stronger community relationships because the community is a part of the solution. Reverend Green is calling for Chief Taylor to resign, and he wants the mayor to begin an open search for a new chief with input from the community. In Indianapolis, Levi Harvey, CBS4 News. Levi, thank you.